Three years after an idea to paint an impressive 20-storey mural on a Collingwood housing estate, the final product has officially been unveiled. Street Art Network Juddy Roller and artist Matt Ardenaid were behind the piece, which depicts four residents who call the building home. First I thought it was a prank, but now that's already on it. I can't believe even my face there. I'm very happy and very proud. Really, I didn't expect like this before. The artwork is billed as the tallest mural in the Southern Hemisphere. Collingwood has a new landmark and it's turning heads from suburbs away. It took three years and hundreds of litres of paint to complete and now claims the record of the biggest mural in Australia. Arden Watson Cropley is six and he'll stay forever young, immortalised on Collingwood Council housing. This mural features four residents who live inside, a faceless tower no more. It's finished. What do you think? At first I thought it was a prank, but now that's already on it, it, it can't be. Do you like it? Yes. The artist is Matt Adnate, who grew up in Fitzroy and Collingwood, converting what's on a tiny iPhone screen into a 60-metre painting. I'm really stoked because when I saw these buildings, I was quite nervous because they're super iconic buildings and, you know, the colour's quite um, grey and, you know, and quite muted. So the first thing I did was wanted to attack it with as much colour as possible. Matt was commissioned by street art collective Juddy Roller with an art grant of $150,000. Matt photographed every resident and chose four. Badria Abdo moved here 12 years ago, an Ethiopian refugee whose friendly eyes now keep watch and entertain her four-year-old granddaughter. She's so very happy when we pass in this area. She said, look, look, Mama, your building, your building, your photos. <laughs> Covering 20 stories, this is Australia's largest mural. Its scale is so massive, six-year-old Arden's eye is almost as wide as my arm span, about two metres. Three years for planning approval, a month to finish the artwork, lots of paint. I think we're about 300 litres of, of acrylic uh, Dulux weather shield and then about 300 spray cans. There are no similar plans for Melbourne's 46 other council towers. This masterpiece will last decades. Blake Johnson, 7 News.